This center is being conceived in the ethic of respect for human dignity. It will therefore aim to empathize with and to expand our intellectual, cultural, and moral horizons. It will be a place of contemplation and search for enlightenment, where people come together to share knowledge and wisdom. Under the leadership and direction of His Highness the Aga Khan, the Imam, or spiritual leader of the Ismaili Muslim community, a growing network of Ismaili centers have been established in countries around the world where Ismailis reside. Through their design and functions, the Ismaili centers reflect a mood of humility, forward outlook, friendship and dialogue, providing spaces for broadening intellectual horizons and fostering an appreciation of pluralism, as well as for congregational prayer and spiritual search. We hope and trust that people of all faiths and background will gather here for educational and cultural events, for seminars, lectures, recitals, and exhibitions. We will seek to demonstrate that spiritual insight and worldly knowledge are not separate or opposing realms, but that they must always nourish one another, and that the world of faith and the material world are the dual responsibilities of humankind. The Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims belong to the Shia branch of Islam, one of the two major communities of interpretation of Islam, the Sunni being the other. Together with all Muslims, the Shia believe in the indivisible oneness of God and that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him and his family, was the final messenger to whom the Holy Quran was revealed by God. According to Shi'i tradition, Prophet Muhammad designated his cousin and son-in-law, Hazrat Ali, as his successor. The office of this spiritual leadership, known as the Imamate, has continued by heredity for 14 centuries. His Highness the Aga Khan became the 49th Imam on 11th July 1957, following his grandfather, Sir Sultan Muhammad Shah Aga Khan. The role of the Imam is to interpret the faith and to improve the quality of life of members of his community and the societies amongst whom they live. Today, the Ismailis live in over 25 countries spread across South and Central Asia, Eastern Africa, the Middle East, Europe, and North America. في بيوت أذن الله أن ترفع ويذكر فيها اسمه يسبح له يسبح له فيها بالغدو والأصال The Ismaili centers belong to the historic category of Jamaat Khana, which is one of a number of spaces of worship found across the Muslim world, alongside the masjid or mosque. For centuries, there have been Ismaili Jamaat Khanas in regions where members of the community have lived. The word Jamaat Khana derives from the Arabic word Jamaat, meaning community, and the Persian word Khana, meaning house. In the tradition of Muslim spaces of gathering, the Ismaili center will be a symbol of the confluence between the spiritual 
and the secular in Islam. Like its functions, the center's architecture will reflect our perception of daily life, whose rhythm weaves the body and the soul, man and nature, into a seamless unity. in the rich tapestry of Muslim heritage, the architecture of the Ismaili centers draws inspiration from historic decorative traditions, including geometric patterns, calligraphy, structural features such as domes and arches, interplays of light and shadow, and water features. Yet, each center is architecturally distinct, aiming to seamlessly blend in with its unique cultural surroundings. Opened in 1985, the Ismaili centers in London and Burnaby marked the community's permanent presence in Europe and North America. Additional centers were opened in Lisbon, Dubai, and Dushanbe. The Ismaili Center Toronto is the latest masterpiece and stands amidst a beautiful seven-hectare park adjacent to the Aga Khan Museum, whose focus on the arts of Islam contributes to a better understanding of Islamic civilizations. Located near the Don Valley Parkway, a major Toronto thoroughfare, the site brings together three renowned architects, Charles Correa, Fumihiko Maki, and Vladimir Jurovich. Standing like a beacon at the highest point of the site, the center's circular prayer hall features a crystalline frosted glass dome that emits a warm glow when lit from within. This use of light speaks to us of the divine light of the Creator, reflected in the glow of individual human inspiration and vibrant, transparent community. As the poet Rumi has written, the light that lights the eye is also the light of the heart. But the light that lights the heart is the light of God. The garden is central to Muslim culture, reflecting the symbolism of paradise in the Holy Quran. Thus, gardens and water feature prominently in all the Ismaili centers. The gardens enable individuals to experience and become immersed in the beauty of God's creation. The soothing sound of running water, the fragrance of flowers, and a cooling breeze offer an opportunity to seek signs that point to the Creator. Each Ismaili center invites peaceful search and evokes the remembrance of God in their gardens, niches, and congregational halls. The centers also house the community's social governance and community administration institutions. These are volunteer-run institutions, rooted in a long tradition of service to humanity. Reaching out to the wider community, the Ismaili centers also extend a hand of friendship, seeking to enhance mutual understanding and social harmony by hosting many events and prominent dignitaries. Intellectual discovery and exchange permeate their libraries, classrooms, and meeting spaces. These centers have become ambassadorial buildings which today reflect and illustrate much of what the Shia Ismaili community represents in terms of its attitude towards the Muslim faith, its organization, its discipline, its social conscience, the effectiveness of its community organizations, and more generally, its attitude towards modern life 
and the society in which it lives. The Ismaili centers seek to engage communities through programs that stimulate the intellect, encourage dialogue, explore new ideas, and celebrate cultural diversity. With new Ismaili centers planned for Houston, Paris, and Los Angeles, this global network continues to grow, providing places of deep spiritual reflection and for building bridges among cultures. It is our prayer that the center will always radiate an inviting mood of friendship to one and all, proclaiming Islam's message of one humanity and joining its voice with so many other voices in this city and this country in affirming our shared responsibility for advancing the common good. It will be a place of peace of order, of hope, and of brotherhood, radiating those thoughts, attitudes, and sentiments which unite and which do not divide and which uplift the mind and the spirit.